greetings to your friends and brethren around the world. In the book of Daniel, we have a very revealing statement of truth given to King Nebuchadnezzar in a dream. And he tells Daniel what he heard in Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High God rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and sets up over it the basis of men. Brethren, this is a profound scripture because it reveals how God is in total control. This world, and including God's church, have either not known or have forgotten that the Most High God rules in the kingdom of men. And without a doubt, my dear friends and brethren, we have seen this in this 21st century. The basis of men and women ruling, whether voted in or just claiming rulership of their own. No matter, God still allows it by decree and demands it for His purpose. You know, we do not take sides because it is the great God who is allowing various leaders to be at the head of their nation's governments. And by the way, judgment of the nations is coming from Jesus Christ. He said in John 5, 22, For the Father judges no man, but has committed all judgment unto the Son. And that Son is coming very soon. America, which was, and I say was, the greatest and most powerful nation to exist, because it has lost the pride of its power. That's why I say was. It's lost the pride of its power and is in very serious trouble. Why? Because America has forgotten who gave her all the blessings she is enjoying. Yes, blessings of wealth and abundance of food and the greatness on the world scene, which is way above all other nations on earth. So why is America in trouble? It's not just a political problem. It's not one party against another. No, it is much more. It's a problem with the thinking process of its population. It's a problem with the American population not understanding what is right and true and what is wrong and false, what is good and what is evil. Therefore, this confused thinking of this nation leads many of them into immoral and violent actions. We are told in Jeremiah 17, 9 to 10, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That heart is the mind of man and it is God who knows because He rules in the kingdom of men. Verse 10, I the Lord search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of of his doings. He, yes, and Jesus, the Christ, is the judge. So because of this desperately wicked and evil thinking, America has become more and more promiscuous, more and more violent, a society that does not care about life. Where we have one out of every six American women has been the victim of an attempted or complete rape rape in her lifetime. 14.8% completed. 2.8% attempted. About 3% of American men or 1 in 33 have experienced an attempted or complete rape in their lifetime. How disgusting and immoral is that? Then there is bloodshed or more violence. There were 7.8 homicides for every 100,000 people in the United States in the year 2020. Up from 6 homicides per 100,000 people the year before. This year 2022 is even worse. And God inspired these words by the prophet Hosea in chapter 4 verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, you citizens of America and Britain. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, 
nor knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery or rampant promiscuity. They break out and blood touches blood. Yes, one act of murder and violence quickly follows the other. Shooting, killings, murders. Why? Because the law is slack. And the perpetrators of the crimes that are committed are not dealt with speedily. And again God tells us in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yes, this wicked and evil God-hating society has a slogan on their money. In God we trust. They would rather be lenient to criminals than to punish him. Usually the sentence does not fit the crime and the victim of that crime is all but forgotten. America, your days are truly numbered because you have forgotten your God. Ezekiel tells us in chapter 6 verse 3, And say you unto the governments of Israel, of America and Britain, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains or the governments and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you and I will destroy your high places. Dear friends, dear brethren, that is coming. Verse 4. And your altars, your religion, your churches shall be desolate and your images shall be broken down and I will cast your slain men before your idols and I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols and I will scatter your bones around about your altars in all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste and the high places shall be desolate and your altars may be laid waste and made desolate and your idols may be broken and cease and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished, and the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Yes, the Lord God. And because God rules in the kingdom of men, nuclear war is coming to the cities of this nation. However, there is hope. And there is sunshine. If we will turn to God with all our heart, Jeremiah 3, verses 11 to 17. And the Lord said unto me, The backslide in Israel has justified herself more than treacherous Judah, the American and British and the Jewish nation. Verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, you backsliding Israel, says the Lord, and I will cause my anger to fall away upon you. For I am merciful, says the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge your iniquity, your sins, that you have transgressed against the Lord your God, and have scattered your ways to the strangers under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice, says the Lord. You, America, have allowed false preachers, false ministers, evangelicals to turn your heart away from the true God and the true Jesus Christ. Verse 14, Turn, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Yes, Zion, where Jesus Christ will have his headquarters upon his return. Verse 15, and I will give you pastors, ministers, according to my own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yes, brethren, they will proclaim truth, just like you are hearing now, this very moment. Verse 16, And it shall come to pass, when you be multiplied, and increase in the land. In those days, says the eternal God, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord. No, they will not look back into the past. Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. When Christ returns, the past will be gone. It will be no more to be remembered. Verse 17, At that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the eternal God, and all nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, e 
Neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. So America, will you, will anyone listen to Christ's voice as he cries out to you to repent? Yes, you, listening right now, will you repent? So until next time, this is Michael Greenwich for the 21st century work of Jesus Christ saying, Goodbye, brethren, and goodbye, friends.